Hello everyone, Scottish Lad here and welcome back to Scottish Lad Darts channel. Today's review, we're going to be reviewing a set of Win Mod Darts which came out in their 2023 range. Now there's two variations of this barrel. We're going to be reviewing the Diablo 2, which is the Bomber style in comparison to the straight barrel. Obviously straight barrels have been done by the likes of Neil's Darts and a few other reviewers. So I'm going to review the Bombers. So the dimensions are... 45.7 millimeters in terms of length so kind of decent length for a bomber i'd actually have to say to that and the width at the widest point is 7.3 millimeters now the grip is a strange kind of mix of grips on this well it's not strange so to speak but i'll explain that in the close-up section come supplied with the black standard points the short red vector stem and these really nice looking diablo flights but these will set you back $39.95 which is brilliant for a dart like this with obviously the quality of it but without further ado let's crack on with the review here we go folks close up look to the one more Diablo 2 alternatively the bomber style because obviously there's two variations there's the straight barrel and the bombers I have the bombers so that's what I'll be reviewing manufactured by one more as you can see with the windmill logo at rear of the barrel not much to talk about in terms of the grip because the grip is primarily in that middle section as you can see it's a mixture of a single and a twin ring grip so on a scale of one to five in terms of grip i'm going to have to say it's a little three and a half because it is quite an aggressive feeling grip no grip on the nose unfortunately so front grippers you have got actually quite a decent grip on that actually middle grippers Brilliant, these have got the best grip on the entire dart. Now for rear grippers, you got a tiny wee bit depending on how you grip. Personally I grip like this, so I'm only getting that single ring right there at the rear. Come supplied with the 26mm standard black point. The short one more vector stems and these really nice looking one more prism flights which are obviously the prism alpha. And obviously kind of go with the style of the dart with the name of Diablo. Now, the length from <coughs> here, where the point meets the barrel, to here, where the stem meets the barrel, is 45.7 millimetres. Again, it's a bomber style, so you expect it to be quite short. Now, the width at the widest point, considering it kind of tapers to the nose and at the rear, is the widest point is actually the bulk of the grip, is 7.3 millimetres. Now, scale, and obviously the price is a great wee price for them, actually, to be fair. 39.95 for these. They only come available in 24, 26 and 28 gram. So great for us that like a heavier dart, but for you guys like maybe a 21, 22, may not suit you, obviously if that's what you throw because these are quite heavy. Unless you get the soft tip and throw in a conversion, a conversion point, because the soft tip are 20 grams. The only way you can get them in the soft tip. But really, really nice looking bomber style dart in my opinion. Very similar to the old Unicorn Phase 5. And obviously a lot of people might agree with that. But let me know what you think of them in the comments section and the price is going to amaze people at these because they're only 39.95 i'd say that's actually a decent price considering all the detailing on the dart but i'll give you all the necessary information let's get them over to the board and we'll see how i got on with them here we go folks front section for the one we'll do ablo 2 so the bomber variation there's two variations of course the straight barrel and of course the bombers the bomber's grip feels really, really nice in the hand. It's just the very same grip that's on the straight barrels. The grip is a twin ring and a single ring within that grip section, as you can see, kind of roughly on the photo and the on the screen. It's a level three and a half grip on a scale of one to five, in my opinion. As it's a bomber dart, it's a very obviously specific brand of the shape of dart for a lot of people that like that kind of shorter style. But the red and black coloration is brilliant, I really like it. I'm not sure whether it can be removed. I will try it and I'll get back to you on that. Just look out for the post in the community section. Just just typical bomber dart. They fly quite quickly through the air and straight into the board. You can mess about with setups and stuff to see if you can get them to lie like this kind of style that Justin Pipe uses or Phil Taylor uses. But the points, I'd change the points to a one more free flow just to eliminate the lip. I'd probably add a longer stem to them as well, to be honest. The short stem did feel a bit short for the barrel for me. 
But let me know what you'd change on these, or if you have a set and how you got on with them, obviously, in your own house or in your own pub or whatever. Personally, for me, cracking that, the price point is excellent at 39.95. You cannot complain at that at all. And the dimensions are pretty much spot on for what I'd like in a bomber. The only difference is I like a bit of rear grip. There is no rear grip on that dart. So I'll let you enjoy the rest of the front section. And I'll see you guys when we get wrapped up. And there we go, folks. That was my review of the Wim Mod Diablo 2. Really, really nice feeling dart in the hand, especially for us bomber throws. Well, I'm not a bomber thrower, but I do. I'm quite partial to throwing a bomber every now and then. That lack of rear grip was an issue for me. I mean, a lot of the bombers I buy tend to have a bit of grip at the rear, so I have got that tiny wee bit of purchase on the dart. I found these quite slippy when I was thrown. Obviously, I throw right from the rear of the dart, so I'm barely getting any purchase on the grip whatsoever. Front grippers, these have got a tiny wee bit of the grip there, but these are probably more central for you middle grippers. As I say on, throughout the review, they're 39.95, so it's a pretty decent price for them as well. One more logo, obviously, on the barrel like you would have seen in the close-up section. But let me know what you think of the One More Diablo 2s in the comments section. While you're there, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Stay safe out there, everybody. And, of course, keep on darting.